All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Before we get started today on another Guilds of Ravnica, is it dirty? Is it a dirty glass? That's on the outside. Um, yeah, that dishwasher is not top tier, unfortunately. Well, yeah, luckily it's on the outside. Um, so before we get started today, we're gonna try some more Japanese candies, courtesy of Kerwit, Kerwitacy, oh. as well as a little right. Red Bull Extra. I'm gonna start with this crunky crunch chocolate. You guys can see all the deets, all the crunky deets, as it were. I don't know if you can read that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if... Uh, can you read the crunky deets? I don't know how your Japanese is, but uh, if you guys are interested in uh, nutrition information, there you go. You can have that. You can screen cap it. Oh, no. Was I supposed to shake? Mike has a big old Arizona tea that he got from 7-Eleven as well. So this basically just looks like your, your standard candy bar. It is in a gold wrapper, or a silver wrapper, rather. I got a silver wrapper. It, it, do you? Did you find your dad at the 7-Eleven? No, he wasn't there. I was looking real hard, though. God. Did you ask him? You should have been like, hey, was a man in here that just bought some cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> he said he was here. Uh, you want to be a little more specific? Yeah, he, uh, he was missing his son. Yeah, this is just like a crunch bar, as far as I can tell. Also, if you guys are interested in Commander Knight, you can play with us if you'd like, if you have a deck made. Here, I got you this. This crunky. And then when you break it, it just looks like... It literally just looks like crunch pieces. And it says Lot, L-O-T-T-E, which I believe is the brand. It's just kind of like a crunch bar, but it's a lot lighter. It is a lot lighter. What's happening here? I guess I could put this silver foil on my teeth and just wear it as a grill. It's basically just a... It's just crunchy chocolate, but it's like rice... Chocolate with rice candy in it, like with crunchy, is probably some of my favorite. What time, Rob? Um, Like 9 p.m. Yeah, 8 or 9 -ish. I would say. Rub the fish, I will definitely be your crunchy bar then. Okay, you want this last one? Sure. All in all... I'd say it's good. I'm a fan. I'd say it's pretty crunky. You'd be, he'd be right. He'd be right. All right, next. I'm going to put this one aside. I don't know what this is. It comes in a very big box. It says French toast cookie. And uh, it, like this is, I don't know if you guys were here. It's like kind of like the wrapping paper box. And um, yeah, I don't even want to open it because I feel like I'm going to ruin the packaging. So... I'm going to try to be delicate with this bad boy. It's Commander. You can ghost all you want to. It's Commander, and it's also being streamed. So, yeah, don't... Like, I'm not going to be mad if you have the stream up. Oh, look at that. We can open it. Oh, yeah. This is great. However, there is another box in here that didn't come out because... I think it's just a plain box. But, like, right now, you can see it's just... Sophisticated packaging. Yeah, I like this. I like this wrapping though, so I think it's actually worth. This is very similar. This is actually what I thought. It's very similar to the Apple ones, where they're like individually packaged cookies. There you go, buddy. They're like little individually wrappaged, wrappaged, packaged, wrappaged biscuits. Package wrapped biscuits. Package wrapped biscuits. That's. I don't know what you said that second time. It says, Ivorish. Premium French Toast Ivorish. I don't know what Ivorish means. Look at that means. little butter pad. Look at that thing. Here, I'll show you guys mine. So, uh... This is really interesting. Look at that thing. It's like a little French Toast biscuit. It's really good. Is it really good? Is this supposed to be like a butter pad? I imagine it's supposed to be, uh... Did you just one bite it? Two bite. Two bite it? Is it? Does it crunch? Does it crumble everywhere? It's a little crumbly, yeah. I might just one bite it. Hmm. That's good. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet it'd be really good at different mm. coffee. Coffee. It was different packaging too. One has a coffee mug and one has a, you know, a pan like a French toast pan. They are good though. They taste like shortbread. They do, yeah. It's like a crunchy shortbread. 
very short bread. It's very good though. I agree with you. All right, I'm gonna put this in the back in the box. Oh man, I was gonna have another. No. All right, take one there. All right, take one more. I'll take the coffee package this time, just in case it's different. It won't be. Oh no, I don't know how to get this back in the box. Apparently, this is why I don't have an engineering degree. All right, we did it. A rocky mountain high. Oh, now I can give you your degree. Perfect. Earned it. Graduated. Billy with the resub. <laughs> Six month anniversary, buddy. Happy, happy anniversary. Really appreciate the support, as always. And the last thing we are going to have, which I actually opened. I, I excitedly opened this one because these are some of my favorites. Uh, orange high chew. Looks like blood orange. But if you look at the side here, which is interesting... It looks like the center of the high chew is white. Here you go, man. High chew it up. The uh, the Japanese high chews have been some of my favorite, and I, I, obviously all Japanese all high chews are Japanese, essentially. But so as typical high chew, but it has like a white center instead of like. It does, yeah. So I'm excited about it. God, high chews are so good. And for that. I'm going to go into this thing. I have one last thing to try, but I'm going to wait because I don't want to overload myself. And it's a Snickers Oats. Which I don't think I've ever seen before. Which is good. You're right. And you got a marijuana cigarette out of it. Mm -hmm. Would you like to sip some Red Bull Extra? <sighs> right now? Yeah, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta show it off. You gotta let them know we're drinking. Alright, so we got a drink today. Last drink that is uh, from the Kerwit package is a Red Bull Extra with vitamin B12. It says it right on the bottom. And it has a bunch of other Thai words that I can't really read. And I got a sweet ad on here for Battle Carnival. Or Carnival, however you want to pronounce it. And it says like Thai word, Thai word, and then it says free underneath in English. And I'm like, that's pretty funny. Extreme Fun Center item code. Yeah, all right. So here we go. Hey, did I pull a carn yet? I like how the extras are always in really, they're in smaller bottles. So it's like, you might as well just drink a regular one, right? Rob, I got another chicken if you guys, if you want another chicken in the fridge. Oh, wow. I can smell it already. Holy smokes. Really? Yeah, so Red Bull has oh, a yeah, Red definitely. Bull has a smell like medicine to me. There was a medicine that I took. I remember when I was a kid, not like regularly, but when I was sick, I was like I took a medicine, and it had a very very strong smell to it, and I'll never forget it. And I, I wish I knew what the medicine was so I could explain it to you guys and be like, this is what it was. I don't know what it is. If I'm taking red, I want this, but I also think this might be better, or I could just take luminous bonds. I don't know. What were you thinking of thinking? Direct current, but then maybe Runaway Steamkin is better. I don't think so. You don't think this is better? No. It's like, it's hard to... It's not. All you gotta do is play red spells. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Well, we get the two Is It Rares, which is pretty sweet. Oh, that thing's rare? Yeah. If we took Luminous Bonds, we could have Conclave Cavalier, which would be pretty good, too, so... Kate the collect Kate the collector, thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna take it does this. Have a very strong smell. And a Hellkite Whelp. Alright, so it looks like this. It looks like alcohol or apple juice. I'm not actually sure. So funny thing, I'm not actually sure what Red Bull looks like because I don't think I've ever poured it into a glass before. I have, it looks like this. Does it look like this? It yeah. just looks like what Red Bull looks like? Yeah. Rhymes with die. Kai? Kai! Oh, I didn't even see. I I uh yeah, okay, that makes more sense then. I put the T with the with the with the K instead of with the the you, you know what I'm saying right now. All right, Kai the collector. That makes total much more sense. Significantly more sense. Cowpole? What is that? Maybe I'm gonna look that up. And I'm definitely leaning towards hypothesis here. Yeah, that seems right. Oh, maybe. 
It was like a it was a liquid. It was a liquid form, obviously. Huh. Anyway, I'm gonna drink this and see how it is. We gotta dink it first. Oh, we gotta dink it and then dink it and drink it. Dink it and sink it. No, you drink it. You dink it and drink it. It it rhymes the same way. I guess you could still say sink it. I guess it's, I don't want to totally steal the mythical good mythical morning though. And I'm gonna take another hypothesis for obvious reasons. Huh. Is that, is that a good huh or a bad huh? It doesn't taste like regular Red Bull. Whoa. Oh, that is interesting. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. It's like a. It's like sweeter. It's like it's very a lot sweet. Sweeter. It's really sweet. Normally Red Bull like, and it doesn't have as much as an aftertaste as I'm used to with Red Bull. No. Which is weird because it's extra, so you'd think it would be like more extreme. I'm, I like Lockett. I'm also leaning toward Demir and Foreman here, just because it's a good blocker. I think Lockett suck. <laughs> Your Lockett is stupid. I'll take the Demir and Foreman. You can also get Lockett's pretty late. I gotta say, if I could choose between Red Bull and Red Bull Extra, I think I'd choose Extra every time. Tastes much better. What are the what's what are the calories in this? I actually don't know what Red. I think Red Bull is usually pretty low calorically because they're usually sugar free. Um, well, there's sugar-free Red Bull, and then there's unsugar-free Red Bull. Okay. Cyclops or Goblin Electromancer? I think Cyclops is the stronger card. Yeah, I think you want multiple Cyclopses in your deck. Well, this is all in tie, so this is really hard to determine what's calories. So, Casper, me and you are on on opposite pages right now, buddy. But I think we're I think we're on this we're on, we're on similar pages. We're in the same book. We're in the same book, but we're on a different page. I'm gonna take the radical ideas. I think it's probably better than maximize velocity. Yeah, Ornery Goblin is actually just fine. Passable Adept is actually okay with Pistons Fist Cyclops and Erratic Cyclops. So many Cyclopses. I'm also wondering. As a as a drink labeled Red Bull Extra, I'm wondering how wound up this is gonna make me. You never drink. You never have caffeine on the rag, right? I have caffeine pretty regularly. Oh yeah, that's true. Your sodies. Yeah, your sodies. <laughs> your little pops. <laughs> oh, Street Ride is the only card in our color. I'll take it begrudgingly. Oh, Leapfrog is great. All right, that's where you want to be. Oh, Disdainful Stroke, also where I want to be. Don't care about you, but I'll take it. Yep, same. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a Red Bull. It's not like a pre-workout. A pre-workout? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, there's these like things you can take called pre-workouts that are like. Super oh, it's drinks. like a okay. Like like it's like your muscle milk. It's like basically, no. <laughs> muscle it's basically, milk. It's basically methamphetamine. <laughs> it's got a lot of Sudafed in there. Most Japanese drinks are quite mild, regardless of their label, extra or extreme. As someone with Tokyo in their name, I will trust that. I don't know how trusting I should be, but yeah, it's. I mean, it tastes good. Like I don't actually have a problem with the with the taste. Yeah, what is this? That's weird. I don't know. I got one too. Thinking maybe some spinach. Yeah, because Flippa does this thing where he doesn't clean his plates before he puts them in the dish. He just tosses them in the dishwasher, even yeah, though that's they're not how you're supposed to do it. Full of, I mean, like I don't, I don't think you need to pre-wash them, but just like rinse the rinse food off. off. Yeah. Right, exactly. Like that's so, pretty common. So like. just rinse your food off of your stuff, man. I want to take the direct current. I think I, it's better. I than can understand stuff. if we had like a super high-powered washing machine. Oh yeah, I, I mean, love a washing you machine. I mean, uh, dishwasher. Yeah, but we don't. We have like a. It's just we a rent, very basic one. Yeah, we just rent the house. So like whatever came with the the house, but like. Yeah, I'm going to take this expansion explosion. Now I'm going to I'm going to uh prioritize electromancers because getting this to cost two or three less is pretty good. You are right. Boy, I know. What's the other half of that card do? Who cares? Uh you copy an instant or sorcery with the cost of four or less. Not as good. Oh, I like Nightfall Sprite and I like Creator Maker both these. Oh, Water Grave too. I don't think that's worth anything though, unfortunately. Steam Vents is worth three, and then Overgrown Tomb is worth one fifty, and then everything else is pretty low. 
So it's probably like a dollar at best. You know it don't matter anyway. No, it's like 76 cents. 88, 88, 88 ticks. I wish they were that cheap in real it's life. It's definitely one of these two. Is Night Vale Sprite like Dirty Sprite? Probably. Wait, what was Dirty Sprite again? I forgot that. It's cough syrup mixed with alcohol and Sprite. I think it's actually Night Vale Sprite. I think it's just a better card. Uh, I like another Cyclops. Yeah, it seems fine. Some kids call it the Scissorp. Goblin with Steamkin was another consideration. I just think this card's much better like the two damage from the cyclops or the the goblin has it hasn't seemed super relevant to me like you're trading your 2-2 for basically another 2-2 and it just hasn't like it's good don't get me wrong it's very very good especially because it's one red but um oh wow all right that's pretty cool that's a nice late beacon bolt what is this 19th so fifth pick Oh, there we go. All right, so this deck is coming together. Hey, man, how's little Boofy doing? Uh, last time I checked, he's doing pretty good. Yeah, I gave him some money for his uh, for his commissary. Commissary, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> I know. I was like, I'll get you. I watch a lot of prison shows. I'm good. <laughs> I watched Oz once. I watch Orange Is the New Black. That's a good show too. Oh, I also just watched I rewatched Justified, so I know there's uh there's a lot of prison talk in there. Close around to season four and five. Just stack it when damage is on the sack. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hopefully there's I, I'm not a huge fan of damage being on the sack, but Yeah, you know, some people are. Leapfrog number two. Thoughtbound Phantasm could be good, especially when we have Night Vale Sprite. And we have Demir Informant. Like, you're usually not too high on surveilling in these decks, but this guy could be good. I'm glad damage on the stack isn't a thing anymore. It's too complicated. It just doesn't make any sense. Because it's like damage is dealt, so you shouldn't be able to respond to that. Like, it's been dealt. You've been dealt. I'm going to take out the leap. I'm going to take the leapfrog. Oh, what a night! Late December, back in 63. What a mock me, what a night. This could make our hypothesis cost three, but I don't think we really care about that. I really don't like, I don't care about guild gates and two color decks, as I've mentioned. I think it's just unexplained disappearance. <laughs> Bounce ball being able to trigger both of these guys is good. Triggers leapfrogs. Oh, uh... oh wow. 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 Oh my god. Come on, dude. You're killing me here. This deck is perfect. We literally got... Perfect? I think we're the wow. only... We're like the only... Wait, you don't think so? I don't think it's perfect. What would make it perfect to you? niv a, a little more red spells and a niv it For our runaway steamkin. Because if they ain't red, you don't get a boofy. If they ain't red, you don't get a boofy. Mike B, 2018. Mike, do you prefer sweet or sour things? Uh, I'd say sweet. Frank, what's your spice tolerance? Scale 1 to 10. Uh, do you mean what can I handle? I can probably handle up to about... Pleasantly? I can probably, hand, I can probably handle a 10... Um, reasonably. Uh, as far as what's pleasant for me, probably like around a 6... I think anything higher than a six, and I'm not really eating it for flavor. I'm just eating it as like a, as like a goof. Wolf. What does that guy go for? That guy's got to go for a couple, a couple, four tickets. Yeah, we'll just take March here. Plus, I don't want anyone else having. Bro, it. I never said the deck was bad. I just said it could be better. Way to be dumb, Michael. Is he Mikhail. spelled it Mikhail? Yeah, we're just taking March here. Oh, a lava coil? How about that? Does that make does that feel good? That's good. Alright, I'm gonna put this lava coil right in my pile. Right in my lava pile. Oh, I got so excited. I thought this was an Imizit. 
Biscuits. Well, I mean, there's a Niv Mizzet on it. It's just. I think it's actually direct current. Direct here. card. Yeah, that seems good. How are you feeling now? We got a lava coil and direct current. Better. Yeah. Yeah. Our last pack. Come on, Niv. Oh. Oh, command the storm. You think someone will still pass the Niv Mizzet? Yeah. Think it'll go this late? Yeah. Yeah. Probably not. Jakeisha in the house. Oh, what up, Jakeisha? Now Mike is using his cup to fill it with uh, Arizona, but also an energy version of Arizona. So I really want a maximum altitude, and I don't have a maximum altitude. I'll take maximum velocity just for the heck of it, but I don't love it. I like having one, so. I think we've run our course for having a niv it, but... I like how you can play Gravitic Punch. This will trigger while this is on the stack. And then you can deal four with it. That's pretty good. Outside of that, though, I don't actually like Gravitic Punch that much, though. I think it might try to be sneaky and take one of these one of these high chews. But you noticed. That's because your sneaky game isn't on point. Hmm... We dragon ounce would be pretty good. <laughs> Gonna zoom across the gang Grand Canyon. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. Oh look, we got a an ornery goblin anyway. That was the one card I was like, oh well, I don't want to really pass it. No, oh, here's another one. I'm gonna take devious cover cover up cover up and might might even just play it. Man, I don't want another high chew of those flavor crystals. You do or don't? I do. The lemon ones are real good. Hmm. 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 Valka, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. It's probably just fire. Nah, it's actually Muse Drake. I'm going to take Muse Drake. Or the fire urchin. I actually have no idea here. Does Punch Cyclops Jumpstart Punch Cyclops work as well as I think it does? Uh, it deals you 12 damage total, yes. I like Drake. Yeah? What's your favorite Drake song, then? I don't know any of those. You just said you like Drake. That's unbelievable. He doesn't even care. I don't think Gritic, I still don't think Gritic Punch is that good, even if even if it does have that cool synergy. What does that card actually do? Gravitic Punch? Mm -hmm. Uh target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target player. Yeah, that's pretty So you'd put it on the stack, this guy would trigger, go up to four eight. Uh Gravitic Punch would deal four. And then if you flashed it back, uh he would get another plus four, so he'd be an eight eight, and then he would deal eight. So if you Gritic Punch this guy twice. In That's the same turn. It's eight damage, but... I'm going to take a wall of mist. We already have two wish coin grabs. All right, we need two cuts, though. I think we can probably cut past wall adept. Like, you're not going to have the mana to trigger these guys to, have to be a spell and make them unblockable. I would just 16 land it. Really? With expansion explosion and three five drops? I like to live on the edge. You clearly do. Living on the edge. Plus you got goblin extramanchers. That's like a land. No. That's that's not how that works, man. Cut one frogger? We only have twelve creatures. I'm I'd be I'd yeah, much more eager to cut Muse Drake. I'm actually probably gonna cut unexplained disappearance. Or Disdainful Stroke. Actually, I can see cutting Disdainful Stroke if we're going to keep in Devious Cover-Up, so... I think that's fine, and we can board in Disdainful Stroke. How can I send unsuspicious American dollars to Frank? Um, there's a donate button in the uh, in the Twitch chat. I don't think that's... I, don't, I think that should avoid suspicion, but... I'm not positive. This feels like we have more red. Like double red, double red, double blue. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we definitely have more red. 
Yeah, this deck looks sweet. I'm going to play this deck. Okay, let's go. We're living on the edge. One mana stroke is appealing. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. This is a day where I drink all yellow drinks. This is Mike's yellow drink stream. Red Bull's yellow. If you know what I mean. Arizona Tea Energy's yellow. Tequila's yellow. His his urine is yellow. This is true. One man stroke, not appealing. I will play first with my... <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's a shipper. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. Is it? Are you really thinking on this? Can someone tell me whether to ship, ship this hand or not? I mean, you do have... Six mana. So in theory, you should you shouldn't draw any more mana, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, get some pineapple juice for your tequila mixer. That does sound pretty good. I think that's just because pineapple juice sounds good. <clears throat> that's fair. I don't know what to do here. We all know you're just gonna draw lands. Much better. Fine. See? Perfect. Is it perfect? Golgari. What? One innocuous American dollar buck. <laughs> that was an unsuspicious uh, amount of money. the old dollar buck. That's, uh, I feel, I don't feel suspicious about that. Hypothesis of... Late December, back in hypothesis. What a hypothesis. Ugh, for crying out loud, that's going to be hard to beat. Blue red, you say? Can't deal with enchantments, you say? Yep. I wish this creature cost one less. If only they played a creature. Casper, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. Gotta hate killing this cat, but you know what? You gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do, huh? Eh? Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, huh? Sure. Hey, what do you gotta do? What you gotta do? Hey, you gotta do? I have to leave now. Where are you gonna go? I can't take it anymore. What can't. can't you take? Tell me. <laughs> Hypothesis is gonna make this guy a 5 8. That's pretty good. It's not bait. What can you do? With the Glondike. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. That's not even the song. Did you drink all your all your Red Bull, bruh? Bru? Yeah, bruh. Okay. I knew they were going to do that. Oh, God. I was so dreading it. <sighs> Unfortunate. What can you do? <laughs> can Apothesis will go to the face? No, that would be s disgusting. Direct current can. I kind of just want to play it anyway just to draw the cards, but I don't yeah. think that's great. Yeah, it makes your beacon bowl better too. God, you really just had to have this? It's an instant, so I guess I don't have to worry about it. Oh, they can also just play something and we can kill that. So, never mind. I don't know why I was thinking it's a sorcery. I guess because everything else is a sorcery.
What can you do for Mike B? Our opponent's like, I don't know what to do anymore. I tapped one planes, and uh, that's all I know how to do. So, oh, you're just going to go get another land. Isn't that exciting? Lay your forest. Put it under the battlefield. Okay, you did it. They drop their mouse, don't they always? Get him chicken and tequila sorted. Wait, what's going on? What did I miss? We do have a whole chicken still in the freeze in the fridge. If Mike wants to eat that whole chicken. Okay, so we don't get to do anything here, which is really. No, why would I do that? I'm just gonna play this now because I'd really. Uh... Why would you do that? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not some savage. No, you definitely are. I'm probably just gonna get rid of this guy. Because otherwise they can make a dude. Mountain. Commander, we're apparently playing Atraxa. Atraxa! Which I'm okay with. It's an Eye of the Storm Atraxa deck. Does that do anything for you? What's Eye of the Storm? Guess not. Guess it doesn't do anything for him. <laughs> Good explanation. That's my favorite. Good explanation. That's my favorite. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I don't think he did get me there. Oh, oh, because yeah, Rob. Rob could, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. He did eat that whole chicken. Did he was bare hands. Yeah, he didn't have any silverware. Oh my god. Was chicken juice just flying everywhere? <laughs> it was he was a he was a beautiful specimen for that moment in time. I don't. I didn't want to play the land because we have multiple jumpstart cards in our hand in the graveyard. Plus the top tier. Man, I wish I. I wish I was there for that. That's the top, amazing. The top mana for our deck is five, and we already have four in an electromancer, so I'm pretty much fine with that. <clears throat> yeah, you missed out, buddy. Does this guy get trampled if he has three or more? No, it's not like pelt collector, I guess. Did you speed eat it? Did he just? No, he took his time, but I was definitely surprised when it was over. I was like, oh my god, you just ate that whole... Oh, we do have that expo. If we ever have two lands in our hand, I'm going to play one of them. But if we only have one land, I'm just going to keep it. What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken Mike B early in the morning? I do want another red, because the double red here means we can't play any other red spells. Yeah, I don't care about any of these any of these cards you're playing. They're all just garbage. All of your cards are garbage. They're just two for one just to get rid of the Steamkin? Deal. Oh, Are you they... really that afraid of a 3-3? Three, three? What can you do with a drunken McBee? I'm just going to get rid of this guy now because I don't want you to block and draw a card from your... There was a quiet period, and then suddenly, bam, chicken bones. <laughs> there was a silence. There was a calming silence. And then in the aftermath, chicken bones. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to penalize you for making a 1-1 every turn, if that's all you want to do. That's a 2-2. Toot -toot. That's a toot toot. Beep, beep. Wow, toot, another toot. prey upon, huh? All right, we'll radical ideas here. <clears throat> radical. All right, I would like another red mana here, but I will take that as well. Yeah, this is probably 
unbeatable. They're going to go to six. We have a direct current in hand, which triggers this guy and this guy. It deals them three by itself, so two turns, you're basically dead to these two. So they just like two for one, two for one. Still have four cards in hand? Jeez. Cheese! Cheddar cheese. Well, they have nothing on board either, so. And they died. Hmm. Our deck is pretty good. I don't know if you knew this. My deck is pretty good. Nope, no idea what you just did. Let's find a. Let's board in a card that can get rid of their enchantment. Okay, looking. <clears throat> looking. Looking. Oh, we don't have any. Nothing. Okay, just making sure. <clears throat> I can't even make a joke about boarding in a green card because even your green cards don't do it. Nothing does it. Nobody does it better. Yes, any blue and we're pretty good to go. Any blue and we're good to go, and we don't even need a blue to be good to go. So, here's an island. It was a mountain. I got wrecked. Dissident. Not sure if your deck is good or there's just a pile of junk. That's true. It's a hard distinction to make, but I'm I'm willing to make it. Oh, one of their two. Per no, okay. Stupid admins never let me into this thing. Admins? Mm -hmm. Never let you into what? The slick deals. Really? The sick deals, rather. Yeah. Is it because they don't like you? I guess so. I don't like you either. I have the death sentence on twelve systems. I'll be careful. You'll be dead. It's from Star Wars. I know. Okay. Okay, just making sure you know. How many systems? Twelve systems. Okay, I'm just going to kill that. Clearly, that's what they want me to do. Oh, look how good we are at this game. Can I boop you? Did a little boopy. I'll trade an Order Goblin for a Dissident. Is this what we're doing here? <coughs> no? Just going to take that too? So we discard Radical Idea to the Direct Current, and then the Radical Idea is still good. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'll just take this. I don't care if you want to pump this. That's fine. I'll take three. Three whole dermage. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> That's from the scene where Spock says it to Hermione at Mordor. Classic quote. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. Island? God, we're so good at this game. Island. Island. I'm going to go into this group. I'm going to add you. I'll let you into the sick deals. Look at that. You're right at the top. Boop. And then we can have sick deals together. They have two cards in hand? That's pretty good. Oh no, they're going to get a 1-1 one, one Creechy. I'll block. I have a pump spell. Boop, 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 boop. Nobody cares. Nobody even cares, Jimmy. Listen, Jimmy, nobody cares. Oh god. Oh boy. 6, 10. All right, well. I could have just put me to one, M my boy. I think we're dead now. Really? Why are we dead? It just feels like we're dead. What What about this board feels like we're dead? I don't know, man. I just I just feel like we're dead. Why? You're not. I don't even know if you're what you're what you're saying right now. I 
Okay, we're less dead. They have one card in hand. I love sick deals. I love sick underwear deals. So you guys can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore if you want 15% off your first order on some sweet, super comfortable micromodal underwear from MeUndies.com slash Mike, Mike B. Just kidding. Don't go to that link. I don't know what that is. Don't worry. That's my affiliate link, but it goes to you. So you're all good. I like that you said affiliate link because I actually forgot that term and I just kept calling it. Uh, I didn't really have a name for it, I guess. But the affiliate link is a good. That's good. <coughs> calling things by their names is good. Yeah. He's right. Here they go. Dawn of Hope. That doesn't even do anything. No, it's pretty good because they can make a guy and then they can make a guy and then they make a guy, make a guy, make it. Yeah, but they never did that last game. They didn't know how to do that. They, they didn't know how. You think they've learned? All right, so this is all your cards. Oh, I see. Oh, boy, we're having a good time. It's going to be World world Colossus. Oh, CG. CG boy. That is a little frightening considering we're at four. Is this round one or round two? Round one, okay. I'm just going to play all the things in my hand. Biscuits and gravy, of course. Sweet top deck. Just instantly make a guy. Alright, whatever you want to do, buddy. You know what to do. This is where maximize altitude would be nice. Actually, I don't want to do that. I'll just play the land. We have a counter spell. I want to keep the counter spell up. I also want to uh, have enough land to play this and this in the same turn, which requires three blue. Yep. Yeah, see, this is why this card is hard to beat, because you have to be ahead. Otherwise, they just prevent you from ever being ahead. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Actually, hmm. I don't know what to do here. We take off some counters here. Trigger, 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 trigger. Oh, now we're talking. Now we got a game. Did you see what's happening right now? It's like everything is happening. How big is your trampler? A 10-8. Oof. That's a hell of a thing, man. Whoo, they have no cards in hand? <sighs> so they're 100% going to block here, which is fine. This guy kills anything it hits, so they have to at least block with these two, which is also fine. Knowing a thing's true name gives you power over <laughs> What in the earth? So they get to draw a card. But they're going to have three guys on board, so as long as we have... Oh, that's just fine. They're going to have two guys on board. 
I feel like this is the better card to kill, but that's just me. There you go. You figured. They can't out. block that way. They die. No, they're gonna gain two. Wait. Well, they have to block here too, right? Okay. So they take ten, but they gain one. They go to nine. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. So they go to two. I said they go to nine. I think they meant, I meant they take nine. Yep. You get to draw two cards. Got to draw one card. <clears throat> but now you only have a beetle on board, and this is literally lethal with radical ideas and lava coil. So you you did. King Killer Chronicles. Interesting. I want to look it up. Oh, I've actually heard good things about Patrick Roth Rothfuss. That's... Oh, man, this guy's not going to do it. Don't you know that's the most busted rare they've ever printed for one <laughs> mana? <laughs> I actually didn't know that. That's a good point. Luminous Bonds. Now that guy's damage is done. Oh, they just Luminous Bonds and Scoop. A the old strike. Lumi Scoopy. The old Lumi and Scoopy. Yeah, our deck is good. Do I want to change anything? Sowing those oats. Sowing those oats? Mm -hmm. What oats are we sowing? I just said oats because it was on the Snickers bar. That's really, I just wanted to say oats. Alright, that's fair. Guys, what should we have for dinner? Oats. Mike wanted Sonny's, which is a barbecue place, but I didn't know if I felt like Sonny's. We could go somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know where though. But Sonny's too. Is that the sequel? King Killer Chronicles is really good, but it's only two books so far. I've been several years. I'm kind of overwaiting for book three. Oh, no, that's that. I'll just I'll just binge it at once when the whole season's out. And by season, I mean... Tacos, obviously. I'm, I, I don't know about you, but I'm a little tacoed out. Sonny's is trash. <laughs> <clears throat> There's better barbecue places, I'll admit, but I like Sonny's. Yeah, so here's the thing. A lot of people don't like chain restaurants, and I, I understand why. I get it. Like, there's some chain restaurants that I'm not a huge fan of, like Olive Garden, right? Um, or Applebee's, right? Because they're just, they're just terrible. They're low tier. But the thing I will give to chain restaurants is that I know what I'm getting. I'm all good. And uh, so if I go to, like, we went to Outback once in, um, in Denver, and it was fine because I knew exactly what I was getting. I'm going to order, a, like, a blooming onion or a salad or a chicken sandwich, and I know exactly what I'm getting. There's no surprises. There's not, like, maybe I'll like this meal. Maybe I'm not. And, and for me, that's that's valuable because I am kind of a picky eater. But uh, for other people who aren't, I can understand why you wouldn't care so much about that because you'd be like, oh, I'm going to order this brisket sandwich, and I don't care how it tastes. You know, I don't care. Uh, I'm, I don't want... It, I don't want my food in that particular of a way, so it'll, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, that was a good top deck. Anyway, the point is, I, I chains have value in that sense for me because uh, despite that it's not as good as something like local and um, more, I don't know, unique, I guess. Okay, we just win the game when we play a turn two Nightvale Sprite. Success. Good game. Good game. Uh, we'll keep this hand, too. This is also a fantastic hand. And we mulligan last game, too, didn't we? I don't know. Who could tell? No, I guess we didn't. Oh, yeah, we did. We both mulliganed a six. All right. Apparently, he didn't like his. He was just like, I've, lo I, I've missed one land drop. I'm done. And to be honest, there are even moments where I'm like, I could go for some Olive Garden breadsticks. I literally watched uh, Jimmy Fallon. There was a skit Jimmy Fallon uh, where he, him, him and Post Malone went to Olive Garden. Because Jimmy Fallon had never been to the Olive Garden. And Post Malone, it's like his favorite restaurant. So he took Jimmy Fallon to the Olive Garden. And it was actually hilarious. And it was like, I was like, oh, maybe I can go for some infinite salad and breadsticks. Because that's just the thing. Like, it's weird. Sometimes, like, you acknowledge that it's not the best, but you do get the... Like, you have a craving for it. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it, really. You go for the breadsticks. You stay for the breadsticks. That's... Well, so I guess, I guess I'm just stare, stuck there then, huh? Okay. 
It's a good talk, Michael. It's a good talk. Unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. Best deal in soup, town. Soup, salad, and bready boys. I guess I should have attacked. Is that still a thing they have? Uh, soup, salad, and breadsticks. I think so. Yeah, I think it's that's a lunch special they do. Maybe. Oh, it's only for lunch. Dang. I can't imagine that if they had it. Oh, for for crying out loud. Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, I can't imagine if they had it all the time that they would make any money. I really need a way to deal with this, and I don't have one, unfortunately. Oh, biscuits. Okay, well, that'll do. Actually, it won't do because she's going to give this guy plus two and then she's going to mentor onto this guy. Yikes. That's pretty brutal. Yeah, that's pretty bad. The whole Wednesday afternoon work lunch where everyone orders a small salad and iced tea. I'm like, why are we even here? Oh, crying out loud. Yep, this is pretty good. I'm a fan. I mean, we could have gotten rid of this guy, and uh, well, we didn't have command of the storm at the time, so I wasn't really. Wait, what happened? Four five. Wait, why didn't? Oh, they can't mentor onto each other, I guess. So she gave herself the buff. Uh, that creature gets plus two plus until the end of turn. That creature gets if it's red. Yeah, why didn't she give the? Yeah, all right. Well, that works for me. I am game, boys. I think we're still alive. Either way, I'm just going to kill this now. I ain't waiting for no... Oh, my God. Come on, dude. Seriously? Well, it's not good. Amazing. Have a four drop, have exactly take heart. Yeah, well. Seems, that was a close one. Seems good. Like, I don't want to be in Disdainful Stroke just for Aurelia, but it might be better. Like They also have Parhelion, I guess, so that's fine. Kind of gross. After I lived in Italy for three years, I had a hard time paying for the food at Olive Garden. It's just not as good as the... It's, I agree with that. I agree with that completely. Uh, Mulligan... And seems terrible, but I guess I'll keep it because I don't want to go to five here. I just wish Italian Mia was closer to us. Yeah, there's a local place called Italian Mia that's just insane. I've probably been going there for about 20 years. Oh wow! No Get a giant sandwich for seven dollars, and it's very it's amazing. Good. Yeah, it's very good. It's a very good sandwich as well. It's a sandwich you don't eat with your hands because there's so much sauce, but that's good. Mike just rubbed his belly when he said that, so you can tell it was real good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't even do that. That was instinctual. Yeah, it was subconscious. Oh, an electromancer, so we can do all the things now. They have not played a creature by third. I hope they I hope their first creature is an Aurelia here. I I Aurelia hope it's uh, an Aurelia. Skibbity bop doo 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 bop doo doo ba up. That's actually fine because next time we can hypothesis will, and still keep disdainful stroke up. Welp. Awkward. Yeah, this is super shitty. I guess we get rid of the stable stroke? No, because we have to have an answer for Aurelia. 
And, uh, I mean, on the bright side, if they don't play in Aurelia, we get to Radical Ideas, but that's really kind of bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lands to 5 spells. One of which we had to discard. Okay, that will counter. I want to keep my little gobby boy. That's an early answer. Man, all these creatures are just terrible. Give me a direct current. That was a mountain. That was close. I it was is, like... It is red. Yeah, it's basically... Uh, I was either like, give me a, a removal spell that I could use efficiently here, or a ninth land. So, ninth land makes sense. I can understand why you'd give me that. Similar. Could have been worse. You could have drawn the waste. The waste? Mm-hmm. Really? They seem to have it all. This is actually fine. I wish we attacked with both, but... Now it's just a two for one. I don't think they have... I mean, like, this This would not be my definition of having it all. I feel like they have nothing, actually. They have five cards in hand. Yeah, and they haven't played very many good ones. There she is. There's our friend. Waited as long as possible. Hey, that blocks. <laughs> it does. It does a very good job of blocking. Oh, look. Fashionably late to the party. So now I had to use this instead of this. Oh, biscuits. Let's hope we don't have another take card, I guess. Because if you do, it's pretty bad. Oh, Christ. Lucky, 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 lucky. Absolutely amazing. So it turns out they did have all the things. Mm. They were just slow rolling them. Explosion expansion would be great. We'd have to draw it. Correct. That was a good point. I hadn't considered that. What would that be? F six damage? So we can deal six to this, draw six, gain six. That would definitely put us back in the game. That might be what you say pretty good. Yeah. Unfortunately, we'll probably be dead before then. But, yeah. Make sure to maximize your velocity here. Like you do. Tempted to double block this guy, but I'm gonna go to the odds you have a third take heart. 100%? Six thousand percent, actually. Yeah, to the surprise of no one. Lucky, 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 lucky.
cool. I'm having a good time. So, unfortunately, we had to discard our first hypothesis to our... Sure, I don't even... Like, I don't... I don't understand, but... I mean, I'm probably not going to block if you just make both of these big, so... Oh, I guess we're still dead. Oh, they did go to the face. Okay, it looked like they were going here, but I guess they were using this. Sure. You got it. Congratulations. Had it all. Yeah. Seems good. Oh, that game went well. Oh, wait. No, it didn't. I mean, one... Two, we drew ten lands. Had to discard an actual spell with a bath. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we didn't actually draw these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... I mean, Radical Ideas is barely a spell, so. Oh, yeah. See, this hand I'm tempted to keep because we have multiple two drops. I want to keep it. I'm Come gonna... on, Mountain. I'll even take an island because we can let's just play Radical Ideas. At least the game is over. Yeah, that's probably all I can ask for. I mean, I think it's potentially it's possible that I misplayed by wasting the command the storm, but uh, it doesn't seem like they ever played Aurelia when they didn't have take cart. So whatever. Okay, one more time. Okay, well, guess we're trying again. Get rid of a leapfrog here. Hey, look, we're so good at this game. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. I wouldn't even say that's lucky because we just wanted to hit our third land drop on turn three, which seems pretty reasonable. That doesn't seem like a, an unreasonable request. I'll take two. Celestia again, huh? Our opponent's name is Necro Acid, which is, seems pretty aggressive. What's the name of my metal band? It's good. It's a good name. We are Necro Acid! <laughs> we'll love to draw land here so we can play two things, but... You know. It's too much to ask for. I could just beacon bolt this. I actually kind of like that. <laughs> what? Reasonable, 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 reasonable. <laughs> reason, reason, reasonable. If we ever hit two lands, we can go Steam Cannon to Gornry Goblin. But, you know. Best metal band name, oh, Fluffy Puppy. Is that a real metal band? Yes! Yes! I got excited. Over the metal band thing? Fluffy yeah, Puppy? I, I get so, so pumped about I get so juiced about metal bands. Hmm. I'm going to go with this because I don't want to block with either of the other two guys if they play. I know there's a metal band where the singer is a dog. I'm sorry, what? There's a metal band where the singer is a dog. Huh. If you don't believe me, look it up. What if I do believe you? Then you don't need to look it up. What if I don't believe you? What if I do believe you? Yeah, I got confused in that, that loophole. What if I believe you with oh. without truth? Then, what if I wait, don't what? believe your fake belief? Answer me. What? That's what I thought. What? This is what I thought. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. There's a metal band where the lead singer is Ned Flanders, and oh yeah, the Ned Flanders band. That that band is actually incredible. Wait, what? You haven't seen the Ned Flanders metal band? No.
They're called Oakley Dokley. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's their music sound like? Uh, I don't know, but it's pretty amazing. We should listen to some. Does of it that. even? Do we even need to know? Yeah, I, I really need to know. Actually, okay, it's I'll... imperative. Okay, hold on. They're also on Spotify. Dang. White wine spritzers. Godspeed, little doodle. <laughs> Vegetables. Vegetable. I don't want to get demonetized, but I don't know if I will be from playing Oakley <laughs> Doakley. You think they're going to claim this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crying out Play loud. Play White Wine Spritzer. That's the best one. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Everybody knows that you're going to righteous blow this guy. That's unfortunate. I probably should have played Cyclops. I was going to play Muse Drake, but I didn't... God, I really just didn't think they'd have stupid righteous blow, because that, that card actually blows. That card righteous blows. We need to play white wine spritzer. <laughs> <laughs> I need it in my life. Direct current. I asked you for a GD direct current. Guess we'll play this fat boy. Fat boy coming through. Members, Head Ned, Shred Ned, Zed Ned, Dread Ned, and Bed Ned. Past members, Bled Ned, Red Ned, Stead Ned, Cred Ned, Dead Ned. Oakley Doakley is a metalcore band from Phoenix, Arizona that plays nettle music. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Oh, how nice. Yeah, plus four, plus four. Since is it's all about sciency, why don't they have a cool card about a big goblin boy named, called Absolute Unit? I don't get no, that. I don't know. I do not get the joke. You know about Absolute Units? No. Those are thick boys. Is are they? Yeah. Is it? Are they? Like a Great Dane is an Absolute Unit. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I think it's probably just because Wizards of the Coast doesn't understand that meme because I didn't. Until right now. Or, you know, they don't base their products off memes. Um, yeah, but they should. They really have no excuse not to. Except for that they suck. Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're done. We certainly are. We certainly are. Good times. Actually, we probably... Oh no, what did I just move? Who knows, man? Oh, it's the hand shield. Okay. What I meant to do was scoot this over. I don't need so much. I don't need so much shoulder over here. Too much shoulder. And it doesn't feel good. Give me a spell so that I can also beacon bolt. All right. Well, that's a little cutie, isn't it? Look at that little cutie. Ain't no beacon like the one I got. I feel like our board is better. Michael B. Made us not. Good talk, man. I'm glad we had this conversation. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Shut up. 
That's where they go. Multi <clears throat> March of the Multitudes. Oh, that was loud. I'd really like a spell. Any spell. Any spell lets me cast this from the graveyard and kill a 3-3. Any spell. Any spell in my entire deck. Any spell? Spell. Well, you just played a spell. I need a spell. This is the creature, not a spell. Creatures are spells. <laughs> are they? Yes. I don't know how magic works anymore, man. I forget. Look at this idiot. Whatever, I don't care. I'll take six. You got nothing. Spell. Hypothesis. That is a spell, but... That's annoying. I guess we'll just hold this guy back now, because I don't want you floating over for two. Beautiful. I kind of want to shuffle the uh, the command back in, but I think we'll just choose the creatures. One, two, three. Triggered. Triggered! So now, Beacon Bolt... Oh, actually, hold on. Three other instants and sorceries. Yeah, so one, two, and then three. Okay. Just making sure we're on the right page. Now I'm going to have to chump with this guy, I think. I, mean, I guess I could double block with these, then we lose both. That seems worse. Especially if our plan is just to kill this guy. Uh, maybe the Ornery Goblin is better. Yeah, that guy's not doing anything for us. <clears throat> burr, burr. Burr, burr. You making fun of me? Yeah, I was. Dang. Yeah. It's rude. Oh, that was a good one. That's what's known as a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Or, alternatively, we can kill this guy. And then just get in there for like a bajillion. Kill you, block you. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely doing that. Ain't no mark below the one I'm gonna. This is 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then they go to 1 here. So we're just going to attack with everything except for the wall. And this guy's not even lethal. What up, Chris? You have one card. Is it a trick? Nobody knows. Probably. It wasn't. It was not a trick. Boop, boop, boop. So, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Forces you to block here, and we can still keep a blocker back. This is fine. Even if you block here, you go to 2, and then you're dead to this next turn. Seems fine. Which I imagine is what you'll do, because 2 damage is not that big of a deal. These guys are pretty beefy. They all look like big daddies from Bioshock. They do look like a big daddy. I know, that's why I said it. I'm on the big hide FTV. Hope you're comfortable with being life-size in my house. I can deal with it. I'm life-size in real life as well, so I'm used to it. Yeah, I don't think there's any, like, plus X, plus X and trample spell that he could, like, really murder us here with. I will deal you two damage. What are the bombs in this deck? Uh, the whole deck is a bomb, buddy. It explodes when handled. 
We got Erratic Cyclops. We got a uh, Runaway Steamkin. We got a Beacon Bolt. Double Direct Current. We have Explosion Expansion. No, we don't. You mean because we had never drawn? No, it doesn't exist. Yeah, that's what I figured. We actually haven't drawn it once in three matches, so. Shrug. Is this Angel Shrug good? We saw the five mana Guildgate boy. What else do we see? Anything relevant? My dad. Uh, your dad costs like one, not four, so. Your dad is super cheap. When he went to the store to get cigarettes, do you think he got good cigarettes or like the cheap cigarettes? Couldn't tell you. I wasn't there. Okay, well, that's why I asked what you thought, not what you knew. It's, it's an opinion-based question. I don't know if he's a, a fancy-based cigarette man. I have no idea. Okay, okay. I would like to think so. Like you got some nice lucky strikes. Some American spirits. Ooh, those are a tied high dollar. Those are, yeah, those are the, the hipster cigarettes. Everyone knows they're healthier for you, too. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, actually. It feels like one of those things that cigarettes tell they're like, hey, it's okay, they're healthier for you. You're like, yeah, we don't put any extra chemicals in it. Yeah, but it's still tobacco, right? Uh huh. But it's okay. still cigarettes. Like, does it have nicotine in it? With these brand of cigarettes, you'll get cancer at eighty, not seventy. <laughs> well, that's a good deal. Them vegan cigarettes. Did your dad get Virginia Slims? I don't know. I bet he did. What if Mike B's dad is Joe Camel? Oh my god, that explains so much. I'm actually not going to walk Does into Does it explain so blog. much? Yeah, it explains everything. Explain it to me how it explains so much. Because look at yourself. Okay, do I look like a camel? Boy, don't you. How so? How don't you? You explain how you don't look like a camel, and then... Well, a camel has a hump. I don't have one of those. You have two? No, I don't. Oh my god, we get to exile this dude? Holy smokes. Oh yeah, because he doesn't get his Oh, his that's little boys. real good. <laughs> the most perfect removal spell. Uh, the burden of proof is not on me because I'm not a camel. You Mike know is. Why? No, stop. I don't Just... got no thick camel lips. <laughs> don't you? I don't wear sunglasses. Don't you? Hey, another leapfrog. I just don't understand why you're so ashamed of it. Just be your camel self and don't worry about it. Ain't no goddamn camel. Damn it, Bobby. I ain't no goddamn camel. <laughs> okay, we have a good time. I ain't no goddamn son of a camel. Camel? Camel. Yeah, all right. We figured it out. Do I just attack and then trade? Probably, because this guy gets double strike next turn, so you're not going to block. Yeah, that's what I figured. Nerd. Look at all my sweet frogs in hand. <laughs> oh, what happened? One cam camel buck. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you need. Do I just take eight here? I feel like I have to. Oof. Promina, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I ain't no god dang son of a camel. You gonna play more things? Okay. Hypothesis. That's uh, an island. That is an island. No man is an island, Michael. <laughs> card is surprisingly problematic right now. I could deal two to it if I wanted Ooh. to beacon bolt leapfrog it, but... <sighs> Just block it, man. I have to double block it and I have to lose two two things. It seems friggin' terrible. Gotta do what you gotta do. I don't have to do that, though. Don't you, though? I guess I maybe I do. You have Vigilance, Menace, and Double Strike? Yes! Whew. It said it failed, but it looked like it worked. Watching Draft Nurse 19 on YouTube. Just want to make sure you... Promina, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. You are the best. All right. And nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best. All right. Do, 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 do. I'll just block here. They can only kill one. I'll cut you. 
Okay. I will cut your face off and wear it as my own face. Then you have camel face. <laughs> I'm already used to having camel face, man. I've had camel face since I was a wee lad. That's nothing new. Yes, we could have took it. You know, you know the best way to beat camel face? No. Learning to live with camel face. I guess we could have took it. What are you saying right now? So just took like eight. Go to four? Yeah. We hit another land, so four, five, six, seven lands to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spells. Seems good. Seven, seven in a deck that is not even close to 50%. So that's cool. <coughs> We're literally using to this terrible garrison sergeant and a glaive. Like, that's pretty sad. I guess we could have actually blocked with 4-4 four, four, and 3-1, right? And then they can still only kill one of... No, he kills both, right? He deals four to this at first, and then the second strike kills this. Yeah, so... Would have actually lost two dudes. We're over the subpocalypse, but, like... I, I still think there's about... Probably close to, like, 60 gifted subs still floating around in there. I guess we're passing... Can a dude get an expansion explosion one time in his entire draft? Beacon Bolt Twite doesn't do it because it's only one. It's one and one. Both frogs in the 4-4. Four four. Wow, that seems terrible. Three for one myself. I'm just going to take eight here and assume you don't have a plus two, plus two spell. And they always do. Oh, <sighs> sure. Let me guess. Next card, Explosion Expansion. That would have done it. Okay, so if we lived, we would have actually been fine. Good to know. Yeah, it seems fine. Oh, I can't imagine they care about gifted subs because they know that's a legitimate thing to do. I I didn't ask, but he did say I noticed you just hit 500 subs in September, so he didn't actually say uh technically you're still at 412 subs because of gifted subs. Like they didn't mention that. Like I just can't uh I can't imagine they would ever care about gifted subs because they wouldn't like they can't hold that against you, right? Like that would be super weird if they were like only authentic one person, you know, individual subs count I'd be like that's yeah, that'd be weird that would be really weird because <clears throat> if you have an audience that's large enough to gift you that amount of subs to keep you or 500 um, that should be good enough uh, Matt arena only sports standard and limited as far as I know let me guess. No. Oh, we did. Wow, we're so good at this game. Actually, I'm just going to play Cyclops here. Nothing's going to ever keep you down. You're the best. Oh, they didn't do anything. All right, so they probably don't have Righteous Blow. You're the best around. Nothing will ever keep you down. You can kind of game the system, but at the same hand, like, you're still keeping yourself above 500 subs, which is good for Twitch, too, right? So, I think as long as they get the sub money, they shouldn't care. Right, exactly. That's like, literally, yeah, literally that. aggressive I'll block you know why because I don't even care I'm a maniac hmm. I'm a maniac a maniac and I blocked wow I have direct current in the graveyard time is commander night uh, probably around 9-ish 
呃，不能拿一个什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么什么 So if you guys want to join, get your commander decks ready, and、uh, you can join in tonight when we when we do it when we do the thing. Oh, I didn't block there because I'm not good at this game. I got distracted by. Well, by life, I got distracted by life. I was a maniac once, on the floor. I was dancing like I'd never danced before. Every time, I'm not gonna discard anything here. Oh, I didn't even know that was an option. To not discard? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you don't have any spells in your hand, and if you want to block and pump, they're still gonna trade. And I still think we're fine here. I guess we could have discard Lava Coil because it's the same as just shooting it, right? It's four damage, four damage. I think mean, that's actually better. Except now we get to choose what we want to hit. No,、oh, well that's probably better then. Except they can shoot this guy in response, and then we don't get the attack. But I don't like we're not gonna get the attack anyway, right? So, what time is it on your end now? Right now it's five. It's five p.m. Eastern. It is five o nine Eastern. We will be doing it in about four hours. I'm confused. Why do I see two floating heads? Because that's how streaming. And green screens work. Or we could lava coil this guy. Tonight I will be buying a bottle of tequila and we'll do shot for shot with Michael. Oh, cool! Whoa, Matthewori. I suggest every viewer do it. Wow. All right. Yeah, they're at nine, so I'm actually just going to get in here because if they play another thing next turn, we can. Command the storm it and hope they just didn't draw a righteous blow in like the last. Yep. Okay. Of course you did. Why wouldn't you? Kerwin, two floating head bucks. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. We don't have a nymph visit. Is commander being a monthly thing or just still a random thing? I mean, it's been、random. it's been more than monthly. Like it's definitely been. I think we've done like two commanders in the past three weeks, actually. Yep. I'm probably just gonna bounce that guy. And we get to surveil this land in the graveyard, please. And then we get to draw. Explosion expansion. There's a direct current. How much can we deal here? Two, four, six. Not enough. It's real close though, right? I'm a maniac on the floor. This electrostatic field is going to do the work for us. Oh man, come on with that! Haters gonna hate. Well, you know what they say: haters gonna hate, lovers gonna love. I don't even want none of the above. Definitely killing this idiot. This guy has been too problematic for me. Okay, okay. Haters wanna hate, 
Potatoes are going to potate. I think I can direct current this guy. Pretender's going to pretendate. Pretendate. Your body is like a porta potty. All right, I'm just gonna actually pass here. Like we can hypothesis one of their dudes. Ideally, the big guy, then block one of the small dudes. Miss Beller is gonna miss Bell. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I'm a fan. Oh, they're just going to tap out for that. Sure. Go back to eight. Why don't you just go back to eight? Did you ever think about that? Give me something terrible like a radical ideas, which I think is already. Okay, still, still a chance. Still a chance. Perfect. Explosion expansion. Golly biscuits. Let's draw a card. Really? Yeah. I'd rather just play the cards that we have. Like this guy. Not both. Uh, well, you see, Michael. We don't have the mana to do all the things. Haters want to hate. I guess it's also better to save it when we can activate our defender guy. Right. 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 That's how, that's my metal voice. Right. Right. I can't really do it that well. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Something big. Oh, that's good. That's, that's nice. It's pretty good. Oh, that's good, too. You're doing well for yourself. There are five. How can we kill them? Explosion expansion? Could we ever draw that card? Is it possible? That's a dude. You're... So then we have one card in hand. We know what it is. It's a 5-2, so that's pretty good. Um, biscuits. I will play one land, because if we draw a spell here, it's actually just fine. I don't really care. Okay, now they have three gates. Seems good. Oh, really? That's fascinating. Can we just zap that boy? Well, if it wasn't a sorcery, yes. Uh oh. Err. I mean, the problem is that these guys have lifelinks, so they keep putting themselves out of reach. You're right. I know. I know. And they just had to hit the gate, which is actually perfect because it makes this guy 3-1, otherwise we could double block it. So yeah, that went pretty well for them. Yep. So let's radical ideas here. Just because I want the mana if we do draw Explosion Expansion next turn. And... Um, mountain and another land okay seems good Welp. well another one card now so that's good Yep. Don't even want to block this. I'll just take seven here. Mm 
Yep. Play the five two finally. Ten years later. Ten years later. Explosion expansion one time. Electromancer. Feels good. Yeah, you know, I don't think it does. Yep, you're right. I was just kidding. You're out of hypothesis, out of command of the storm, out of lava coil. Yep, that does seem better. Joke's on you. I don't even have any big things for this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. Four lands. Less than 25. Less than... About 33% of the deck is lands. And now we're dead because they're both lethal. Cool. Yep, let's see. Nope. 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 Oh, there we go. Only the fucking sixth card left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, despite how good this deck was, we could not beat Aurelia or uh, Glaive of the Guild Pack. Which was really the card that uh, destroyed us every game because just couldn't do anything about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you next time.